Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf's Side channel. Today with a very special topic. <laughs> I mean always special how a siege normally plays out this was a siege with the old system but with the new system it's just the time frame you have then so you have six hours time frame and you have to ask for the siege you have to pay for the siege and then you have to wait um, 24 hours until you can siege and the defender can pick a time if no time is picked it's 24 hours and for this example we sieged undead lords and again this is with the old system but the new system is not different than that except the six hour time frame you have i mean we only we only needed one hour uh, one one and a half hours um, without the preparations without the preparations normally the preparations also take days and farming the stuff also take days and weeks depending on your uh, numbers yeah we also paid a few manganons and a lot of granum because that is basically what territory control is about but to, to get that in a chron chronological order so let's start it's important for siege to transport all the stuff you need at first as 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 close to the target as possible and just in case if it's a keep siege then you maybe also need a house in order to supply yourself with enough materials all the time to this siege we were a little bit uh, too late a few minutes and they already placed the tent there you will always need a sieging tent to supply yourself with enough ammunition for siege and you also have to build the manganons and at first you can you can build the non-movable ones later in the siege you you should build the movable ones because if the thing is sieged then you can't siege something else here in the area it, it depends but if you can move it you can at least move it and siege something else a few houses of them uh, as well and also really important really important is someone with engineering skills because that is that is you 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 having one one guy with, with hardcore engineering skills it's like five guys uh, I'm, I'm, I'm working on something and the defenders were also there and were uh, casting magic on us um, sadly I'm not so good with the bow I'm not so good in the combat either hmm. but yeah what really can kill a siege is elemental mages if you for example have in on the defender side a lot of elemental mages this is uh, this is pretty good for you because then you can more easily defend yourself and for example targeting the siege equipment and getting that down and the attackers will be very pissed but normally inside a stronghold it's pretty hard to to defend yourself sometimes if uh, you have for example 50 people out there and uh, throwing everything they have at you and especially especially when you don't have the same numbers when you for example just alone or three guys uh, trying to defend a stronghold versus 40 to 60 uh, people or something like that i don't know how much we were but i also think the sound is pretty impressive i mean if you just listen a little bit Sometimes I really hate the north because this snow all the time is getting me so crazy. I mean, Starboard, seriously, it's annoying as hell if you're playing all day and it's snowing all day on your screen. It's annoying. It's not fun. And one of the most important things is to reload the tent that, uh, that is never going out of resources because that would be very, very bad. Uh, then you need to place a new tent. So you always need someone who is uh, here like me and uh, doing the inventory close to the close to the to the icon where you where you are sending it in, where you're clicking. You just right click and left click all the time. This is basically what you're doing um, as, a, as a refiller. This is this is your this is your siege experience i mean it, it, someone has to do that fucking job and and it's 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 so i i, I don't know star Wars. i don't know star Wars. if that is is that quality of life for you just my personal opinion give us a container there where we can throw in i don't know 100 stacks of granum and 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 that's it because, because because currently someone has to has to sacrifice their two hours of sieging fun or doing something productive here um, just clicking two buttons it's it's not fun it's not and this is the quality of life the players talking about this is exactly the shit we hate i mean nice idea nice idea i mean no one is complaining about yeah we need siege chains we need it and stuff like that we also need to, to build there and, and stuff like this but but this is this is what is this sorry i'm uh, drifting away a little bit I'm, I'm pretty sorry but this is something this is something that really grinds on my gears all the time because this is just one aspect and these are the little things players are annoyed about or make a auto refill when i'm standing there that, that that's automatically getting the shit from my inventory i don't know but basically for some people even the scouts the scouts around the area and stuff like that 
They're just standing. St we, we have we have like we have like six or seven scouts out there around the area. You also need that for a siege, basically, to know if enemies are coming. We also have scouts in every major town. In every town is a scout looking for if some people are grouping up. Even in our enemy towns, we have some scouts. That is needed. That is that is needed shit for a siege. And of course, building up the tent for over an hour is also needed. And no one is complaining about just 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 uh, standing there and, and building that up. It's just if the the stuff you need to do feels co feels feels complex just to be complex. You know what I mean? To just have it, have it, have it uh, very complex and very, very unintuitive and very unquality of life just for the sake of it. This is uh, this is what, what people are driving mad at Mortal Online. Not even a boring task just to building up the tent. Same with the arrow equipping shit. This is the same discussion, like, but this is something for another video, I'm pretty sorry. Then our scouts said that um, the, the enemy group is forming and that Odin Seed is coming as support for our enemies. And that is exactly the thing I talked about the, the sieging in my earlier videos. You, you need scouts and spies everywhere. If you don't have that, don't even participate in the territory control game it's very vital because if the enemy knows that you are forming up yourself and what what uh, how how you are geared this is very critical information in mortal is win or lose to add to everyone who is an officer who is a guild leader or something out there keep your shit together because in a lot of cases you're fucked even before you're rolling out but back to the topic the tough was the, the tough the fight was pretty tough at first but people were here uh, uh, with Aquarium gear, Chronite gear and uh, with uh, really high-end shit and some were basically prepared for the third server war. Uh, just to give you a little bit Mortal Online history, Mortal Online 1, uh, the first server war was versus AQ and the second server war, server war lasted, uh, oh, I guess it was three years. The RPK versus Dread and a lot more alliances, basically. But it, it was, bas was basically that. Or if you if you would keep keep it simple, it was two times the um, West and South versus the North, two times. So it was an awesome battle. So thanks to all the participants that you came to the to the siege defend was awesome because otherwise it would have been very boring. But that was a good tactic from the from the opponents uh, that they lurked us away from our horses and from the from the main siege thing and they were they were at our uh, siege place and was, were killing all our horses and all our our transporting uh, stuff and stuff like that that deleted a few resources and a lot of resources basically and stuff like that but it wasn't a problem we just gathered more and uh, continued with the siege that is what I meant with what I said earlier with the with the uh, we need a lot of resources close to that because you never know what happens. And then we continued with the siege. More tent building, more resource uh, gathering, more um, uh, sieging. And here the stronghold is dropping to zero HP. And yeah, sadly there was no animation how everything is destroyed because it's bugged. And this is this is this is something I, I could be very angry. And basically I am. But I know that Star Wars is trying their best and I know that they are working on the game and I know that stuff will get better and better over time. But this is just something, oh my god. Just give us an explosion animation where everything is scattered around with a, with a big sound and stuff. But no, we have this here. And it's standing there with zero HP. It's like, okay, yeah. Nice. Then we had a lot of manganons left, I guess it was like 20 or something, uh, and then uh, yeah, we basically siege everything around. Uh, at least uh, the priest there with the house and the other house uh, left of that and I guess one other building it was. And sieging the priest is a really pain in the ass, because first, um, enemies can't revive there. Second, a priest is costing a lot of money, so sieging a priest is uh, very annoying for the opponent. And yeah, that's basically it, how a normal siege uh, is going. Uh, often the defenders don't even uh, defend. This is also a thing. Sorry that I drifted away a few times in the video, but there's some stuff about the game that is really grinding on my gears every time because I'm seeing that, I'm playing it, and I'm thinking to myself every time, if, if that thing, if that process, if that thing is fought to an end from Star Wars, it's, it's, it's fought through. From A to B without going over C, F, H, 
whatever stuff. Then even the little mechanics, the little, the little stuff that annoys players can be improved in a in a other way. You don't have to take away a grind. You don't have to take away the time it consumes. You just need to adjust it that it's not annoying as fuck or over complicated. Over complicated UI, over complicated mechanics. But all in all, I'm very gladful that this game is so good currently because compare it with Mortal Online 1. You can't even compare it. Mortal Online 2 is good as it is. And whoever says something else talks bullshit. But that doesn't mean that the game is perfect. It means that Starboard, Starboard is on the right course, Starboard is on the right way and we will have more content, more features and more stuff in the upcoming months and in the upcoming years and it will be good and great. So yeah, uh, that's basically it. <laughs> so please leave your opinion in the comments and please don't be butthurt. I'm not wanted to blame Odin Seed here, I don't want to blame Undead Lords here, I don't want to blame our own aliens here. It's just, it's just how a siege went. It's just an example here. And thanks to all participants, also the enemies, of course, um, because that was a fun experience. It was a fun siege, nothing less. So yeah, please leave your opinion in the comments and share this video with your friends and uh, ring the bell and uh, be happy and have a nice day and I don't know and uh, yeah, ring the bell. And also, uh, party hard to all our supporters. Carmel, Professor Olu, Keronus, Patronax, Cologne, Bullock, Gio, Vadi, Vagas, Real Mappers, Blip, Greta, you and all the others, of course. I'm getting faster and faster. That is also what my girlfriend says. Please don't write her that. I mean, she doesn't look the videos. At least that is what, what I hope so. Um, I'm sorry, honey. Uh, I forgot something, I guess. Oh yeah, <laughs> party art! Party art! Oh my god, never forget to make party art! Holy shit! And <laughs> see you all next time, goodbye! <laughs>